I became a scientist mainly due to some inspirational teachers. At school, my geography teacher instilled a fascination with the physical world. He was also an explorer, heading off to climb mountains in Africa, South America and Asia, updating us as he went. Some of that clearly rubbed off and I've been lucky enough to have a job where I can combine exploration of the world with an exploration of how it works. I'm particularly interested in volcanoes and how magma is generated, stored and transported before it is erupted. My research focuses on using energy released by earthquakes as a probe to image inside the earth. Much like a doctor uses x-ray energy to image inside your body, we can do a similar thing using sound waves that are released by earthquakes to understand what the earth is made of. Now obviously volcanoes are not a big concern in the UK, so my research involves collaborating with people all over the world to understand what makes volcanoes work. In the field, there's no such thing as a typical day. In Chile, it included off-road driving for eight hours to deploy a station near an active volcano, whitewater rafting to access a site for a seismometer deployment, and it ended with us being uh, accommodated by a cowboy in the mountains, including dinner at his house with his horse joining us at the table. And that was my day as a Birkbeck scientist in Chile.